In the United States, one out of 38 children are expected to have harmful levels of lead in their body. While exposure to lead during childhood has been linked with IQ deficits, research is only beginning to uncover other harmful effects on brain function. In 2008, a research team led by Dr. Nasser Zawiya at the University of Rhode Island was the first to establish a link between childhood lead exposure and Alzheimer's disease like pathologies. They discovered that monkeys exposed to lead in their formula milk during childhood had increased plaque buildup in their brains 23 years later. This plaque buildup was typical to what's seen in Alzheimer's disease patients. Dr. Zawiya went on to design a mouse model to investigate whether early life lead exposure also causes behavioral abnormalities similar to Alzheimer's disease patients. In a recent study published in Alzheimer's and Dementia Journal, Dr. Zawiya's team used a Morris water maze in which exposed mice displayed impaired learning and memory by late adulthood. This was based on how quickly the mice responded to visual cues to swim towards a raised platform and their ability to reach that platform in a subsequent trial eight days later. Interestingly, an age-dependent increase in amyloid precursor protein, an established marker of Alzheimer's disease, was also detected in the brain of these mice. These findings support previous observations from Dr. Zawiya's lab, where early life lead exposure permanently reprograms expression of several genes linked with Alzheimer's disease via epigenetic pathways. Dr. Zawiya's lab is now working on developing preventative and therapeutic agents, which can reverse this reprogramming and potentially treat Alzheimer's disease altogether.